It's never too early to think about enrolling kids in school. And did you know there are programs out there for working parents that you may be able to tap into? Angel Cardo and Carla Whiteside are with Early Learning Coalition of Duval, and we're so happy to have you on First Coast Living. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So first of all, we got to get to to know the Early Learning Coalition of Duval. What exactly is it, and what do you do? Yeah. So we're a private nonprofit that receives federal and state dollars through the state of Florida and we help families find quality child care and also help them pay for quality child care. And how are you able to do that? So we have two major grants, one being the Florida School Readiness Program, which is tied to parents' income, and also is for parents who are working, that have to be working at least 20 hours a week or if they're attending school full time. Yeah, that's nice too, right? How does a family then identify a quality child care program? After they're in the area and they're looking at child care for their children, they can visit a couple of child care centers just to go walk in and meet the teachers, mm -hmm. see the environment, and see the structure of the center. And once a child is in that center, we allow them to be able to come in, spend a little time, see how they feel about it. And that's always a big plus with parents on how that child feels about their child care yeah, center. Yeah, it's got to be a good fit for all, gotta, right? Exactly. So that's nice to know that they can come in before they even sign up for anything or apply or anything exactly. like that. So let's talk about this. How important do you think it is for four-year-olds to start VPK? It's very important. Okay, you and know, why a is lot that? of times parents feel that children know the alphabets and numbers because they can sing it because it's repetition from a song or something. But based on their being able to be in a structured environment, also being able to be comfortable with new people away from home, True. which is going to help them for the setting uh, when they go to big school. And they need to learn their alphabets and numbers and sounds outwards because it's the first stage right of them becoming whoever they plan to be in life yeah we want them to be excited when they go to school be too excited. because I, I I'm not a parent but I have friends who have kids in that first day of school the kid has a meltdown so to your point of kind of getting them familiar with leaving the home and and exactly. seeing new people I think that's great so what if a parent though is concerned about their young child's development in health or even behavior so they could visit our website or call us at the coalition. We have screenings that helps identify milestones for mm -hmm. the children. Okay, and if there is any concern or needs, those screenings help identify those yeah. and we can connect them with resources if needed. Okay, and of course, with summer break here, uh, what can parents do to really utilize this time so that they don't learn the learning that they had in the past? So well, I'd say the, the most important thing is read 20 minutes a day with your children. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, that's a measurable thing. That's good to, to be able to remember, 20 minutes. I think yeah. everyone can make that work. And each child care center uh, gives out a transition from VPK to public school. Right. Uh, yeah. It's provided by the Early Learning Coalition and then there are other networks that we go on to make sure parents have things that they can work with that child to keep in a structure, some type of structure during the school year, yeah. summer. Give them tools for their toolbox. That's yes. it's exactly what it is, yes. is a toolbox. Okay, well let's give them more information. Where can they go for that? They go to our website at Early Learning Coalition. Sorry, you'll see duval.org <laughs> or they can call us at 904-208-2044. Okay, and it's also on the screen too. Yeah. Thank you both so much for joining us today and helping our youth. Thank you. Our thank young you. youth. Thank you. And if you'd like to see this interview again, just head to our website and that's firstcoastliving.net.